So this is one of these um, chisels. It's called a, a flanger uh, uh, dongle. Do I have any broccoli in my teeth? Yeah. You can't beat a flanger longer. Your two French teeth are very large. <laughs> oh, David, this is a fine vintage. Then come on over and have a, <laughs> yeah, coffee. Yeah. That's so irritatingly cute. Or what are you charismatically <laughs> challenged? Or... Charmingly useless. So one of Art Resin's favorite um, places to go is Exotic Woods. And last time we went there, we saw this beautiful piece of wood and Dave immediately thought this would be amazing for a clock. I'm not going to teach my kids how to use this type of clock. You know it? Why? Why would you? That's like not teaching them cursive handwriting. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Hey, times change. <laughs> what used to be before cursive? Or what used to be, like, writing's just evolved. But it's times not even writing. Change. Times change. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> a pun. Speaking, it's time to start. Oh! <laughs> Get it? I do! <laughs> Okay, so we're so excited to get going on this now. Why don't we go through that process first and then we can, okay, you well, can, as we you go can chime in on the tool. Hey, that's two in like 30 <laughs> seconds. Oh, I got way more. In. Oh, can I show you? Let me grab one thing actually. I'll show you where this whole idea came from. It's a cool story. Time's money, Dave. Huh? <laughs> so my uncle, so my mom's uh, youngest brother made this and I remember as a kid looking at it and I, would, I always wondered how he did that. And yeah. Isn't that cool? And I yeah. loved this. And then he passed away. And so I ended up getting this because I loved oh, it so much. Good. And then so I saw this and I remembered this clock. So we're going to make this a clock too. He made it in jail actually in Saskatchewan. Wow. Yeah, he stole, he pushed too many cows over. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was selling drugs. Oh. Yeah. He was the best guy. Let's get going. What's the first step then? Okay, so the first step is we are going to um, drill a hole in the center. We've uh, marked out our face. I really like this placement. And we uh, are gonna drill a hole through the center. The point of that is to find the center on the back so we can sink in our, what is this? This is the mechanism for the, for the clock, for the clock the right? Mechanics, yeah. yeah, yeah. So in order to do this, we're going to drill in four holes. Yep, we're gonna use our trusty drill press here. And this thing's good because we can actually while we're drilling into the back to make the cavity where this will sit, with a drill press you can actually make it make your uh, drill stop at a certain point. So look, every time it won't go any lower than that. So why that is good, if we're gonna drill through this wood, we don't want the, the hole in the back, the cavity in the back to go all the way through because then that would ruin the whole thing. So just make sure that we drill just to the depth that we need. Okay, so once we have our, um, our piece centered and synced in, then we're gonna have this little bit sticking out the top, and then we take our hands, right? Our hands, yeah. And then they're too long, as you can see, so we're gonna cut them down, and we're also just gonna sand them, so they're kind of a, you know, a little more industrial looking, I yeah, guess. Yeah, like a raw material. Yeah, or yeah rather and than what? These are just tin snips. Oh. Um, just we'll sn snip those really quick. Okay. A quick snip snip, right? <laughs> it changes your life forever. All right, once we have our hands to the right length, then we will we'll, we'll find the exact points. We're just gonna put four nice little um, markers. Yeah. We have this square chisel that's used for woodworking. See the tip of that? So instead of you know putting numbers on to mark um, all the points here, keep it really clean and simple and kind of go with the, that industrial look, we're gonna have four squares here. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna carve those squares out with the um, square chisel. Uh, and then we're going to fill it with silver, right? We're talking about yep. silver resin tint. Resin tint, yeah. So that is going to look awesome. And then I guess it's sand the heck out of it. Mm -hmm. And then and resin then the heck out of it. Resin the heck out of it. Yeah. And assemble it and then um, put it on a mantle. And admire it. Yeah. So if your hands are ready, let's <laughs> hour on over to, wow. to, to the <laughs> clock. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! Dave's on fire. Oh, watch out! Was that a pun on purpose? That was a pun on purpose. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh-oh. We have a serious problem. This is rather alarming. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, oh, this is just, there's not enough, you know. Clearance. Clearance. Do we just put the hole somewhere else or do we? Okay. Anyways, this is what all of our videos are. Yep. It's, it's problem solving. That's Troubleshooting, what, yeah. Yeah, that's the creative process.
if it was easy, then you know, you'd buy a manual, go buy a pre-made kit where it tells you all the steps, mm -hmm. wipes your butt for you. Okay, three, two, one, and we're drilling. So, all I'm doing here is making a guide hole. This is a guide hole. Put this over top, and that will start the hole so that so that we're not on an angle, right? We're not drilling like that, we're not drilling like that. It gives it some stability too, you're so smart. Yeah, So and that's very important because of this, right? That's gotta stick out perfectly straight. Otherwise, you know what they say, you're, uh, you're behind in the times. <laughs> Thanks. I love this. <laughs> Thanks for laughing. All right, there's no time like the present. Oh. And it begins. Let's call it there, that's good. Okay, we gotta think of some more puns, okay? <laughs> All right, tick tock, let's uh, go. Is that good, pun?